Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. But they fought with expert timing. Hey everybody, welcome back to Gulf Coast Travels. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that we did here recently in Biloxi and thought it would be a good idea to recommend to y'all if you have a family or if you're interested in sports or just looking for something fun to do while you're out on a weekday or weekend. We went to the Mississippi Gulf Coast Coliseum on a Saturday night and watched the Mississippi Seawolves play a hockey game. Now, down in the south, we don't have a lot of hockey teams to go enjoy and watch, but I will say if you get a chance you definitely need to go see this. Uh, it is a non-stop action from the time you get there. The periods themselves are about 20 minutes long. So when the intermission hits after the period plays, typically they go into the crowd and they pull people down and let them come out and partake in a few games. I think when we were there, they had four to six people downstairs and they were shooting cornhole in the ice just to pass the time before the next period. When the second period ended, they had something called pitch puck, where fans get to throw foam hockey pucks down onto the ice, and there's actually targets located in different spots on the ice, and if a fan's puck lands on one of those targets, they actually win a prize. It was actually really fun to watch the fans do that. Uh, they had people as old as 60 or 70 throwing, and kids as young as four throwing. After they get done throwing the pucks, they allow kids to come onto the ice and help clean up the ice so they can get ready for the third period. If you are going to go to this, just be aware that they, hockey is a pretty physical sport. Just be prepared that if you go, there could be, you know, fights breaking out and on the ice, not between the fans. I mean, I think it'd be funny if, if it did break out between the fans. But yes, while we were there, there were actually two fights back to back. And to be honest, I, it was very entertaining. I, I, for one, don't know much about hockey, but that is probably one of the main reasons why I go watch a hockey game is just for that. Uh, just for the intense atmosphere and just uh, enjoyment. It's also really fun when a team scores a goal because the crowd just goes crazy and uh, the announcer himself is just entertaining the whole time. In the game that we went to, it actually went into overtime. Uh, typically there's three periods, each of them 20 minutes, and whoever has the most goals at the end of it, into the third period, wins the game. That was not the case in the game we went to. We actually went into a shootout and the Seawolves ended up pulling out to victory in a dramatic fashion. A little history about the Seawolves. They were originally founded in 1996 and they actually ran till about 2009, 2010, I think. And then they actually took hiatus and just returned to the 2022 season. Uh, I foresee them being around for a while. I would recommend this to anyone who wants to go have a good time. I think that the time span we ran was about three hours so if you're looking for something fun to do you know if you have a family or if you just enjoy sports or just looking for something really fun to do I would highly recommend you go do this it is a probably top five if not top three things uh, that I would recommend if you're in the Biloxi area to do and they are playing um, I know if I'm back in that area I will definitely go back and watch them or that their season runs from October to about mid-April and then after that the playoffs start uh, I, I do not believe that they're gonna make the playoffs this year so if you are going to go see them, just be aware that you have until, I think, about the 8th of April to see them before the season ends. Just a, an exciting event all around. There's always something going on. You're, you're not going to be disappointed if you go to this. That's pretty much all we have for this video. So thank you all for watching. You know, please like and subscribe. It, it helps our channel grow and helps bring more content. So yeah, thanks for stopping by and we will see you all next time. Thank you all for watching. If you liked our content, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Always remember, don't be a tourist, be a traveler.